playing through a neck injury. Um, top 10 last week. Next on the team. Uh, it's a good from sign. Marietta, California. Please welcome Ricky Fowler. Fitzpatrick, 138. Come, got to hoist it up and over that tree. Good shot. Made away from the flagstick. 14 and a half feet for Fitzpatrick here at 10. Flagstick in. Hmm. Nice way to start. Fitzpatrick on the tee at 11. Driver again. He sure seems loose right now. Just getting up and hitting it. Not a lot of extra energy into the swing. And this one just is covering that flag stick if it gets back to it. it. Takes a lot of precision, both off the tee and on the second shot. He knew it. He kind of stood up and out of that one. He knew right when he hit it that it wasn't hit hard enough. That'll be a tap in birdie. St. Andrews is 13,608 square feet. Hitting driver is Matt Fitzpatrick. This one has to turn left to right because it's 300 through and he can do that easy. This flirting with the right trees though. I did not like driver with, for him on this hole, but. Hopefully he gets lucky and gets something over there. Okay, Fitzpatrick trying to create something over here on the pine straw. Yeah, good luck here. Just maneuver it anywhere around the green, which he's done. Collect down to the low area, get towards the flag. I think this is a really tough putt to read because the green goes from back to front, which is right to left, but this has got that subtle left to right in it. Yeah. Just missed to the right. So hard to read and trust that it's going to go up to the back of the green. But that's an easy par from where he drove it. He did a lot of work on the range this morning. You know, working with, working on his swing. Didn't look super happy a, a lot of the times. That should have gotten far enough to get past those trees on the left. But uh, and also working with that the, the weighted club, the stack system. And now Fitzpatrick, though, has to hook this one. There's no way to not hook it and get it on the green. It did draw a little bit, a little bit too much, but the shot was far easier than the one he had in the last hole for a second. Going to have a clever little shot coming up. See if he wants to put a putter in his hand. Not a whole lot of green to work with. Two options. You can bump it into the hill in front of you, or you can fly it on. There's plenty of green to fly it on, which is what he opted for. And that is so good, again, given that... Wow, given that these fringes are so tight, to get it in there and land it that soft and that precise. Andre, you should start thinking about the NHL with a backhand like that. I don't think so. <laughs> so I... well judged. The changes have been simple but significant. Fitzpatrick, barely any curve well, whatsoever. Look at this. Back to the right. Just about and that will get Fitzpatrick into a share of the lead. He's doing anything wrong, he just doesn't look sharp. And Matt Fitzpatrick with just a little cleanup, so he's going to move to two under par. You know, we talk about a lot of these players chasing distance for some players that make sense. We had that discussion a couple weeks ago with Rory did not make sense. OK, second shot now for Matt Fitzpatrick. This from 277. Yeah, just a layup, but you have to be very precise. You know, you can get it the contact cleanly of that uh, crushed coquina. But again, trying to. There's not a lot of, of flyers really around here. It's kind of lush enough and short enough where I don't think you have to worry about that, but what he did worry about is the tree. It did tick a couple little branches, but didn't affect it too much. Yeah, 
There's that ridge as it's gathering down to the left side of the green. Really nice shot there by Fitzpatrick. He will have that putt to try to join that three way tie for the lead at three under. And a share of the lead at three under. He likes to leave that flag stick in. And conclusively proven now that it doesn't really help catch the ball. Makes him perhaps a smaller target. Back to 16 off the tee. Matt Fitzpatrick, two under par. He does not get cheated. I tell you what, it's amazing the transformation in one, his body, and two, his ball speed. This is area of his game. He's so good at controlling the distance and the flight. He's 68th in putting so far. Fitzpatrick. Well, it's, I think he like this. I was going to say it's officially howling right now. I mean, out of this exposed point. Two looks on an excellent line. Gets over that hill, now it's downhill from there, and that'll chase out to about hole high. All right, par three wizard so far today. That was center flag stick with the putt. I think Robert could still play out here. Fitzpatrick. Yeah, no. None of that. Uh, but talking about it's way easier than playing it. <laughs> Add one under. And Matt Fitzpatrick, his second, and from the fairway at 18. Yeah, see that wind blowing pretty much straight right to left. Begging for it to go. Didn't sure. listen. It should be just right center putt. Interesting, he took the flag stick out for that one. You're exactly right, and Matt is not. He's flirting with the left rough. Going to absolutely have to work something around those trees. Slinging draw around, and it is slinging just a little bit. Good looking shot. He's going to show Ricky Fowler the line. Birdie putts coming for Fowler and Fitzpatrick. Homa in trouble at the first here on PGA Tour Live. Close to 40 feet here. And I think when you're... Always leaves that flag stick in. I would have a hard time with that, but when the winds really start blowing... This one up the left. The wind should keep it from turning over. Very good. Robert, what you, you said, 289? That was my guess. 286. Coming off a triple bogey just a hole ago. This is Fitzpatrick. He is well left, going to be down in that area. We saw Shane Lowry try to hit a big flop shot from. Gets him back to two under. It's Patrick. Pretty big swing there. Yeah, on, a, on an upslope, very confident. Up that elegant pitch. You certainly want to pay it off. It's a great look there. Very Steve Stricker-ish with it, more of the heel off the ground. There's been a lot of three woods off the tee. But if you've got a hot one that you trust, that's fine. Yeah, here's. It's Patrick at the third. And it just all depends on the lie. You get down in these areas. It's a general area, but you got sand in that crust, coquina. Back out with Matt Fitzpatrick off the edge, putter in hand. Yeah, only 15 feet. Great opportunity here.
it, it, the momentum is slowing down on the course. We saw players jump out to four or five under as Fitzpatrick stays at four under. It, it's, it's getting a little stagnant. Yeah, I think so much of that. This whole location is, it's kind of the friendliest, I think, on this green. It's, as far as water goes, you're not going to really have to flirt with the water much. Fitzpatrick has been deadly on the par three so far today. Birdie just Our first two. tracer technology is provided by Trackman. Robert, 20 feet of curve in that one. It's been a struggle ever since. Birdie putt now for Fitzpatrick. Whoa. A couple of dimples leaning left. That would have caught the edge. Four under is just one back. And now is Matt Fitzpatrick's swing, Robert? No doubt about it. He likes that. I would say I'd like to try that next time, but I know I can't. <laughs> it makes it's a pathetic. It's not a whoosh like that. It's just a sad little murmur. I mean, he's still around 275 to the front edge into the wind. He's got to give this a, a swarp to get it there. Well, this is all over it. It just dies out left of the green. Robert, were you able to see if that made it all the way up to the greenside bunker or just short? Fitzpatrick did find the bunker. Boy, that's that really nice sound thud out of there. Didn't quite. It's a good shot. He didn't look like he was very pleased with it. Game to tie the lead and uh, he take advantage of the par fives. He's. Okay, Fitzpatrick less than driver at six. Yeah, you're going to run out of room very quickly down the left. Avoid the bunker and just don't overhook it. Lucky that landed softly. Up to the sixth, Fitzpatrick. Those pesky limbs. Gonna stay under it and hook it. Don't overhook it. Mm. Not a bad leave. Nicely done, back to six, Fitzpatrick. Oh, I'm surprised he putted that, actually. He pitched it into the slope. Fitzpatrick. Well, it goes back, Craig, like you were saying, you, you would like to have seen him chip it from back there. Yeah, I, obviously there are a lot of variables in play that as well as he chips the golf ball, you know, putting, you'd have to come up the rise and then everything's speeding away. If you pitched it in, you could have taken some of the pace out of it. Hindsight's always 20-20. Back to the seventh, Fitzpatrick now. Oh, there you go, catch the down slope. Rocky did that, that up's gonna do it a little better. That's like when Bobby Jones won one to four. He won the impregnable quadrilateral. Whatever, it didn't happen. And neither did Fitzpatrick's putt. Looked like he Correct. liked it for a long time. It just never quite took the break that he read. On the tee, Matt Fitzpatrick. Surprised to see Driver out. It's uh, mostly right to left, but it's only about 300 to go through on the right. He controlled it well. It's Patrick. It's really good looking. Calling for it to go. It took a nice bounce. Very good nice shot. Bounce. Bounds up into the center of fairway. He will, sorry, the green, and he will leave himself an uphill putt. It's Patrick. Back up the hill. He did not like the strike of that one. Never hit solidly enough to get to the hole. And Robert, that was right on line. It was. He was up and out of it as soon as he hit it. He knew right off the putter face. It wasn't getting there. Isn't that the 
Watch the takeaway here for Fitzpatrick. You know, there are all sorts of ways to gain swing speed, but one of the things that is surprising to people, and it does work because I've tested it out, if you increase the speed of the backswing, that is the quickest way to add speed to the golf swing. Now, I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't either. Matt Fitzpatrick off to a fabulous start. A lot of players just driving it in that front bunker, and that's going to be the easiest of three. Beautiful effort there. And as he hit that, Victor Hovland made a birdie. At the par three, eight. And the reigning U.S. Open champion, Matt Fitzpatrick. At five under par. Also good with free wood. So again, gentle breeze that's now blowing for these afternoon starters. So you'd have to imagine just a eight iron for Fitzpatrick. Whole location right on that front right on an excellent line. Right below the hole. And Fitzpatrick and with that flag stick in for birdie at one. You know, and, and Ricky, when he played junior golf, refused to wear shorts. Do you know why? Mm -mm. Because he says on the PGA Tour, they always wear pants. Matt Fitzpatrick is going to use his putter from just off the green. About as long a putt as you'll get here at the Harbortown Golf Links. Now it's a little bit more down grain as the grass is going towards the camera and then away from the player. So that'll be a downhill six footer left for Fitzpatrick. Again, taking the flag out. He's starting to get a little inconsistent. Sometimes it's weird. When it's calm, he'll take it out. But when it's windy, he'll leave it in. I wonder if that's because he wants to give it a little bit more speed. He doesn't look at these balls right just, now <laughs> very long off the tee. He Coming off a birdie. Pin cut middle right here. Anything just left of it? You were saying? Fitzpatrick with this grip you don't see very often. You're chipping off the green. Yeah, the chip off the green this week. Not very popular, Craig Parks. First lag putt. It's Patrick. And his wife convinced him, if you're ever going to give it a go, now's the time. Don't, don't have any regrets. And now he's back and playing well. And now Fitzpatrick. Wide right. Three fourth hole. Billy Ray Brown's going to be with this group. All right, Kurt. Thanks a lot. Unique technique there for Fitzpatrick. That little pitch across the green. Yeah, and he has this left for par. Fitzpatrick. Yeah, putting with the flag stick in. And tee shot out to the right. Couldn't get it up and down. So that'll be a bogey for Matt Fitzpatrick. Really just have to work it around the edge of the trees. And my hit in the draw. Oh, that's, but just skirts that bunker. It's going to be ideal. And, and it did. I listened to you. How about that? Fitzpatrick just 268. Yeah, cut the corner, so took some yardage off it. Mm. The green here at the fifth, or just off the green. Got it to land slot, but just use the uh, slope of the green to run down. So really does it help on a putt. So curious. Okay. And the problem is, I left it in with my big mitts and I tear the hole up trying to get the ball out. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we, we have to apologize. We, our attention was focused on Ryan Gerard, but Ricky did go out there and shoot 66 on Sunday for a, a backdoor top 10. It was great to watch him because you know he was pulling for Gerard, yep. really. Coming off this bunker, everything's going to go to the right pretty significantly around the hole. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe Pot we have seven. seven. Flag out this time too from yeah. Coach Ryan. That's interesting. Maybe you heard our conversation earlier and <laughs> said he keeps it in. It's an incredible transformation. Fitzpatrick now. Mm. Not over there. Mm. Fortunate to stay out of that bunker. Cover that much fringed and get to the flag stick with very little green. You start getting some of these not not the penalties that affect the pocketbook because yeah. Patrick Cantlay and, and the likes of players like him, they have enough money. But you start adding a shot to yep. the card. Nice up and down. Almost full swings as practice rehearsals. And I tell you what, Fitzy has really improved his speed with this club. And I tell you what, this one down the center turning over, this could be really good. 193 for Fitzpatrick. A little low swing and hook here. Well judged. Not much remaining here for Fitzpatrick. Look at that flag stick out. What is it, if it's inside three feet, he's, he takes it out, I don't. Fitzy now, a little lower ball flight, turning very much to the left. That one, I've lost in the trees, Perksy. Yeah, that one's left to the green. I heard a great quote from John McGuinness. He talked about these guys, they have effortless power. I saw VJ Singh do this. Look at that. I mean, that is a U.S. Open champion for him, too. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't work. It works for him, but <laughs> that's a great shot. That is a great, great shot. No, no, I mean it, but sometimes when you do it what you think is a more complicated way and you realize, oh, that's how the club strikes the ball. When you go back to your normal technique, you go, it's not as difficult. So it's a muscle memory thing. Well, it looks like that's what Fitzpatrick's trying to do. A little right to lefter. Yeah, he's got the right, not the left, though. Yeah. Didn't come back. He was set up. Definitely playing away from the water. Yeah, and now that makes the, the second exponentially more difficult out of the rough. Yeah, the soft land, too, from the higher ball flight. Always nice. Fitzpatrick now. Yeah, he just gets it squeaking by those tall pines. And this one's going to look like it's going to catch the back edge of the green, does it? Uh, it's exactly where he was aimed. You could lose four or five mile an hour ball speed, depending on the club head speed. Good look here at Fitzpatrick. Change green around the hole there, so that was well judged. That's what Tiger talked about when, when he worked with his dad. To, I, I love what Cole said, that there's an art to finding the center of the face. Yeah, no question what this one is. And this one just leaking ever so slightly out to the right. It's going to miss the fairway, I believe. Yeah, and with driver, now you're in terrible spot of bother there with that huge tree. He went down all the way down the shaft, so he's trying to squeeze it in. Yeah. No, I have you for my long game, Cole. <laughs> and then I have, I have uh, Perksy here for the short game. I'm set. There are no excuses. There is no excuses. Look at this one here, too, from Fitzy. I tell you what, that gives you a very good indication of how much pitches on this green from back to front. And I tell you what, Max was in there pretty quick too, just to maybe get a little bit of a peek. It can be just the trigger to sort of maybe either spark something or, hey, I tried it and let's go back to what we did before and what was working so well. Love it. Great insight from the master. And we have seen him experiment with this mallet putter in the past. I don't remember it being counterbalanced, but driver for Fitzpatrick. Oh, and he does not like it, and there's good reason. This is left going left. That is going to deal with some rough and also tree trouble there, Perksy. Yeah, and it's all about just the contact here for Fitzy. Both, you know, he's got to keep those feet nice and steady, make good forward lean, ball first. And, oh, by the way, he's got to control the distance. 
and he got pretty much all of it right. How about Fitzpatrick on the green here at 12 trying to make a birdie? It's a lot of poor putts here, Steve. Generally missing on the left. They're all seeing the same thing. Kurt, we're just talking in the break there. I mean, they're meant to be power greens, but you were just referencing too. 235 to 245 range. Some played a little bit shorter. Way right back in case they pull it left, and this one down the center. This will be no issue here for Matt. Yeah, I'm not sure the strike was what he wanted, but the result was. Brilliant. Yep. And one of the iconic holes in the game of golf, no doubt. And certainly one of the biggest tests as we watch Matt Fitzpatrick. From 145 for Fitz, straight over the top of the flag stick. Beautiful shot. And I tell you what, he has always got his head in that yardage books. Nobody keeps more information in their book than this man. It's downhill. Coming from left to right, and it's quick after the hole. Yeah, it's such a tough one to read. You've got influence off the bunker, you've got green changes, you've got subtleties from his left. Fitz here, even though it raced past the pin, wasn't convinced of the line. He gave it the Vajegas treatment. He actually used the compass itself, um, and we always played what the wind said it was doing, not necessarily what we felt it's doing, but I tell you what, it's got to get up a little. Oh, boy, that was, a, oh, oh, boy, oh, boy, that came oh, close, Good Daniel. thing he pulled it, Colin. That, if it had been online, it would have been 10 yards short in the lake. 100%, Daniel, you never want to make a decision in an emotional state. You want to try and make take as much of that out as you possibly can and just go with factual information as we watch Fitzy do a pretty good job of getting that up within about four feet. Maybe there's something to be said for getting away from the game for just a little bit. It's Patrick, flag stick in. Every time. <laughs> Busy eating on the job. I'm hungry, man. It's almost <laughs> five o'clock over here. <laughs> Fitzpatrick's third shot to 15. Looked like a three-course meal. <laughs> Back here at 15, Fitzpatrick can't get the birdie putt to go, so he settles for a par and stays at six under. One under on his round this afternoon. A premonition, perhaps, for Fitzpatrick? Well, starts it out on the line, very similar to Fowler, just not turning back as much, but it's still going to find the short stuff. Yeah, just 132, and a good angle at this front pin location. Left, no good, and that looks a little heavy. It all, oh boy. It's funny you say that. It might have been a little bit of a drop kick there, Colin. He got a little bit of grass in between the club face. <laughs> it does. It, it just looks weird, doesn't it? But I tell you what, he's effective with it. 100% he is. Nice. And never a doubt. Set or cut for Matt Fitzpatrick. And so he stays at 6 under par. Yeah, predominant ball flight is that little draw, and I tell you what, it draws up pretty nicely here at the 17th. You can start at that right portion, try and turn something back against this breeze. Our tracer technology provided by TrackMan. Yeah, good shot there. Pretty much hole high. And here's Fitzpatrick. Again, and once again with the flag stick. I was, Eduardo was actually out here yesterday following this group, got a chance to talk to him about the analytics. He said he's teeing it up next week with LD down in Zurich, Luke Donald. He and Fowler would love to birdie the 18th and get a little bit closer to Jimmy Walker. Well, this one starts out at the lighthouse, turning left a little bit. It needs that nice soft bounce you're talking about, and I think it gets it. 
Yeah, I love this angle down the left side. Now you're sort of hitting away from the penalty area a little bit more. And this has plenty on it. This is going to get all the way back. Oh, that's a lovely shot, Fitzpatrick. The reigning U.S. Open champion, Matt Fitzpatrick. Game to 67 foul by 68, and here is Matt Fitzpatrick. Out to the first, 132 for Fitzpatrick. Slight upslope. Going to turn it around the tree. Good shot. Matt Fitzpatrick is also on the move. 149 yards away at the third. Take a look at this beauty. And it falls. Fitzpatrick with a two there at the third. And we are seeing all kinds of great shots. At the fifth, Matt Fitzpatrick. We already saw him hole out earlier. Let's go to seven, and Matt Fitzpatrick. One of the rear holes with the hole cut in the back. This is where that hole in one was. And do we have another? Oh. <laughs> what a break. Well, he's going to be surprised to see that so close. Now Matt Fitzpatrick to get to 11 under par within one of Jimmy Walker. Take advantage of that break. Oh, yeah. Fitzpatrick, another player on the move. This is at the eighth. Matthew Fitzpatrick he had a great day going. This is for birdie. Got a chance. Yes, more than a chance. Right in the heart. Fitzpatrick now a share of the lead. Look at this scorecard. Here we go with a cross handed chipping for Matt Fitzpatrick at nine. Yeah, that tee shot, Steve, there's out of bounds on the left, but uh, it's fortunate it was in bounds. Well under par through nine holes. They knew they had to come out and get something going here as we go to nine. Talk about somebody who got something going. This would certainly help save the momentum, and he does. We hear it from players all the time, Frank. It's not the birdies and eagles that catapult you forward, it's those par saves. Let's fast forward all the way to the 10th and Fitzpatrick just off the edge of the green and not much green to work with. So going with putter and another good choice. And he usually is very cool, calm and collected, Kurt. He normally is. Now Fitzpatrick, his second at 11. Front right hole location. There's a tree that hangs over that front right and he was definitely trying to avoid that, but he overdid it a hair, pulled it. We saw Fitzpatrick second at 11. He's got a testy long putt here. And he got the speed right. Really well done. Let's go to 13. And Fitzpatrick got off to that great front nine. Laid it up here nicely. And Trevor, this is another positional hole. Want to be setting your tee shot up down the right hand side so you can have a good angle to that whole location. That piece of green, Frank, only eight yards wide. Now across to 13. Trevor, you referenced this hole here. We saw the second shot of Fitzpatrick. And well, wow. two at the top again. Front right hole location today at this short par three using the up tee, just a nine iron for Fitzpatrick. But swirling breezes making this thing devilish. Tracer by Trackman showing the, the safe line there, Mark, over to the left side of the green. No damage done with quick little putt. Four names on our leaderboard, including Fitzpatrick, have all won majors. As we go to the 14th. And Mark Immelman with this group wisely taking the putter there, Mark. That good par. Par what, five. What breeze there should be helping, and that was bludgeoned. And you want right center here, Mark. Mm. You do, and that's what he got. Everybody's aware of it, players and caddies. 
And he and Billy Foster were talking about that. Launches a seven wood here, Mark. A little late on that delivery. Okay, not bad there. I think it just crept into the bunker. A lot of green to work with. It is perfect, but that shelf halfway to the hole is what you've got to traverse. It's got to go. That came out. Thick, but... It's trying. It's trying. And this is to take the lead outright. It and is. to get the eight under par for the day. Oh, how about it? All the way, Matt Fitzpatrick. Boy, he's going to stay even keeled. This increases uh, club head speed. You go back to 2021, it was only 112 miles an hour. I know he's hitting three wood there. Last year, he got it up to 118, so it's a good 10, 15 yards he's increased. And that's hit the path once, twice. 159 the total. Anything in the heart of this green will be user friendly. Yeah, it's a good shot. That swing speed reminds me of the great Nick Price, fast swinger. Fitzpatrick finished tied 10th last week. Up and over a rise, but downwind. Can't get too frisky with this one. I think you heard your mark. So. He'll tap him for 417. Still awkward in these conditions. But eight under for his round. Using the back right tee today at the par three. Just an eight iron for Matt Fitzpatrick. Oh. And that is not going to be easy. Oof, that's a terrible miss there. Oh. At the 787 flying above. And this is 17. And he had to go left there, Mark. Yeah, he dropped to his knees when he saw the ball had hung up and was absolutely shocked. Best he could do from there. Ian? Yeah, back over at 17, Jim. This is for par. It's not often you have to chip away from the cup. But it worked. What an up and down for Matt Fitzpatrick, US Open champ. Look at that. Six birdies and an eagle on the card today. Here's Fitzpatrick. What a save at 17. To keep this bogey free round intact. He's a par away from 63. And now you're right off Calabogie Sound with the marshland to the left. Full effects of the breezes at this point from the fairway. Those breezes are helping, and that's nine iron hunting. And walking after it. You could tell he left it. Probably thought it might even hop a little closer. But he's just hold putts of that length the last, well, 15 and 17 anyway. He's had three one putts since we came on the air. Those all mid range in this read, Trev, is not too complicated. He had 20 putts in his first 17 holes. Is it enough? A little more pop, it would have been in. But it's going to be 63. Start of the day, six behind. As of right now, tied. Look at all the circles and even a double circle. Nicely done there by Matt. And we saw yesterday that being on the left side of this fairway was a disadvantage for the players. But today with that whole location a little bit farther to the right, it's not nearly as penal to be on the left side of the fairway where Matt was. And back to one. Fitzpatrick, Frank's got to be thinking, is Spieth going to do this to me all day? <laughs> No, I think he's fine. Maybe he hold out a second shot on three, and True. also the par he made on 17 was um, that was a little freakish. Really, had to chip it out sideways. Plenty of green to work with. Great angle. 
pitched with a conventional grip. He did. How about that? And did very well with it. Have to keep an eye on that. Par up at four. Okay. Good up and down there for Fitzpatrick. Gets him to 15 under, two shot lead for the moment. Good 20, 30 yards of rough thin trees. Trees coming very quickly. The leader. Yeah, went to the right hand side of the tee, trying to draw it back into the breeze, but has lost it to the right. Oh, now he's at the mercy of the trees. Well, this came out nice. Headed toward that bunker. Actually carries up onto the putting surface. It's going to go over the green, but what a play there. Yeah, that had some heat on it. That is wow. deep. You nearly hit it on the fourth tee. He did. Yeah, he's pitching downwind. He's going to try to land this ball short of the green and let it pitch back up. Oh, my. Missed his spot by a good eight to ten feet where he was looking at when he came up and looked at the surface. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh. Now, remember this moment later in the day if Fitzpatrick was still leading because he now remains one ahead with that par save from off the green. Yeah, Fitzpatrick's tee shot. That was a six iron. Oh, boy. He's got this ball turning over. Pretty aggressive line. Oh, I would and say. What a shot. Justin Thomas was 12 feet 5 inches. That's the closest to the hole today. I'll check that here in just a second, but that's going to be pretty close to that tee shot of Thomas's. Fitzpatrick has his chance to make only the second birdie of the day here at the fourth. That's well, a tough one coming down the slope, and he's given plenty of room out to the right. It just straightens up at the end. Boy. 183 yard par, par three, and Fitzpatrick will clean up. Imagine Fitzpatrick will let this one go. He likes it. She full speed nearly 180 miles an hour. And well should. Yeah, big bounce and it doesn't quite get back in the fairway. Check that four iron. Kind of cut it back into the breeze a little bit. Took a little sting off trying to work it in that direction. That's fine. Fitzpatrick's turn now with a putter in hand. Yeah, it's beautiful. Great touch. So he will get to 16. Plays quickly too, Steve. Have to admire that. Tie for the lowest score to par on the front nine all week with a couple other players as he makes that birdie putt to get to 16 under. So he's now played the front nine 12 under for the week. Yeah. But Fitzpatrick off the tee at the sixth. Up by one. And also just inside that bunker and in the fairway, so good shape. And a good one there. Oh, wow, it hit on a little downslope right there and took off, but two under par on his round. Putting aggressively, and that rolls out a little bit more than he would have liked. And no problem there from just outside four feet. Can't lay a couple of shots further back than the two at the top. Fitzpatrick with that high finish, that's just going to leak left. And that will find, it would seem, the bunker to the left. 16 under, Matt Fitzpatrick. This one did slip into the bunker. Coming across this green, you can see it ride that spine. Clean card, bogey free. Has not lost a shot since Friday, but that will be a bogey. So he'll just clean things up, but an unfortunate miss there. Very, very strong left hand grip. Very high hands and forearms at address. This is going to miss right. No damage done though, not bad at all, just off the right edge. 
And to make it to the Tour Championship in your first season on the PGA Tour, that is special. Unbelievable. Fitzpatrick for his birdie. And, uh, OK, so we've got two taps in for par there. We'll see if Cantley can make his from about seven or eight feet. That's another rule change that's been so good. It's not players aren't so nervous these days. In the old days, if a ball moved a millimeter, sometimes they were deemed to have caused it. Tracer Bain. Track man, look out right. It is a uh, trampled wide, pretty firm, very awkward angle, though. Decided not to take any chances, just give himself a birdie putt. Jordan tapped at nine as we head back there now. Time for Fitzpatrick to roll one for birdie. Someone put the cellophane on this hole in between the groups. Hmm. See that flag blowing there. Wonder if the wind just knocked that to the left as it was getting down to the hole. Matt first competed here in this tournament in 2014. He was an amateur. He made the cut, and on the final round, final day, he made 18 pars. Oh. Almost He's never going left. He almost took someone's hat off in the crowd as it went past there. Did you see that? That That's was right. cool. That's the sort of shot his brother would hit. He's going to play with his brother next week in New Orleans. Weak right hand. So you're going to change that? He said, look at the ball flight. No need to. Let's go work day. But that one's left. But if you're going to miss to that whole location, that's Behind. where you want to miss. That bunker is no good today. Well, I thought Trevor, that was a good, good lesson for people at home because sometimes they're trying to make the perfect grip. He kind of messed with people on the second hole, Frank, and he went conventional, but back to cross-handed. <laughs> yeah, I think when he's green side, then he goes left-hand low, but when he's a little bit further away, then he'll go conventional. Good up and down. It's a real tussle. They're not given an inch right now. Missed his last two drives to the right. This is left. Normally a better driver than this. Obviously something not quite firing on all cylinders today. Maybe the wind's got him a bit bamboozled. Now this must be moved from right to left against the wind, and which is now coming a little from the left around those trees. That was eight iron. Yes, yeah, beautifully played. Fantastic. Get things uh, back on track. Has nothing to do with the line. And he is one of the few that leaves the flag in. Let's say Matt and Adam Scott have been the two guys that have done it most since it was allowed again. How about you, Dottie? Would you uh, use it? Would you have liked that? Back to 12. And now Matt. Oh, that looked nice, huh? On a line. Three for three there, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 63 foot apex. And because of that, you've seen that extra roll down there. He's just going to have a short shot in. In transition in the warm up. He can get a little quick in that area. Mm. So no one really close in the last grouping at the 12th. At 16, coming around the bend for the second shot, you see out into the Camel Bogey Sound. And 17 and 18 are gorgeous. That's the putt by Fitzpatrick. What's it, Dottie? Just these three, they're all accomplished. Is there a lot of chatter between them? Between Patrick and, and Jordan, yes. Um, Matt's been kind of in his own little bubble today. Two holes in a row, he's had a birdie look to try and tie the lead, but hasn't been able to get one to drop. But you still back into their face a little? A little. Let's go, Jordy! No, he hates this. If it catches a piece of the bunker, there's trees in front. You know that. The word boomerang was uh, uttered on nine. 
need that from here. It's trying to turn. Yeah, not too bad. Boomerangs do come back. So we have an outside chance for a three. I don't know exactly what he said, but my face went straight to his chest because I was trying to avoid crying on camera. That was uh, trying to enjoy the moment as much as possible. Well, it was good for all of us to watch, John, and you know. There you go. <laughs> nice. How long do you think it'll be before you touch a club again? I don't know. I'm beyond addicted to this game, so I always say I'll take some time off, and then tomorrow you'll see me chipping in the <laughs> afternoon. So I, I really don't know. Uh, yeah, at the left of the two towers would be a nice shot. 20 exactly. or 30 feet left short. That's a beautiful ball play right there. Mm. And this should feed in, as John said, just from the left side, it feeds in and down. Yeah, it's a bit more of a penetrating ball flight. That landed a good 15 paces short of the pin. Take a drop, hopefully make it four, and try to go on a tear in the last few holes. That's all you can do. Gotcha. Oh, that would have been huge. He likes to work the ball. More comfortable working to right to left, so I can imagine Fitzpatrick will let this one go. He likes it. She's full speed, nearly 180 miles an hour. And well should. Yeah, big bounce, and it doesn't quite get back in the fairway, but. 15. Going for it. Two thirty six, and it looks like it's plenty to get there. Oh, we hear this is actually over the green. Ball back. Oh, he's going to give Jordan some kind of free read. Sure is. It's part of being a professional. You do what you can to get back at the moment. Things you can control. Birdie for Fitzpatrick. We heard a little while ago from the world number one and newly crowned Masters champion. Fitzpatrick now. 123. Playing quickly as usual, organized. Oh, that's organized. Flight and eight iron right to left. Wow, uh -oh. this is aggressive. Catch a piece. Oh, yes. Aggressive indeed. Fitzpatrick puts the pressure on Trev. What a brilliant shot. Hugging the left side of the green. Never came back. Look of disbelief to Billy. Max. And he's right toward that Max all the way down there, Dottie. He is in perfect shape. Boy, he knows his yardage, doesn't he? Instead, it's going to be delicate now. Advantage Fitzpatrick, and he knocked one close. Another pitching wedge. Just like 17, right all the way. Just a foot run out, that's all. We'll be heading back to the 18th tee shortly. more down the right than what he did earlier so the run out won't be a problem 
Not the best angle, but that'll work. Mm -hmm. You're always going to feel pressure standing on the tee of a playoff hole. But I would think it's a little bit neutralized by the fact that you have an 82 yeah. yard <laughs> wide fairway out there. That nine iron from 179 straight down win. Massive club twirl. Likes it. Walking after it. Oh, right down the stack and over the top. And runs to the back of the green. Just little adrenaline there. Just crushed that right over the flag. Had some speed to it. He won't waste any time. Does it again. Dead center. What a cool customer. They're going to be going to 17 next. Man, he's going to feel like he was just throwing a lifeline here after how that unfolded. Looks like a carbon copy of the shot in regulation, drawing it into the breeze. And it might be about four feet farther away, but a similar line. Excellent shot. But I don't think he needs to get it outside the hole. Well, he did hit it outside the hole, and this time it didn't come back. Kudos to Jordan there, just mo motioning for the crowds to settle down. Yeah, great. Two nice young gentlemen, good friends. But that part of the green at 17 is uh, going to be in Fitzpatrick's mind for quite some time. Two huge misreads. Oh, yeah. yeah Harris English. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Knock it up there as safely as you can. Right center preferred. Yeah, that was eight holes a couple years ago. Very high and just left of it. Oh, Not that much. Bounce forward. It's right at it. Keep going. What a golf shot. And for the Fitzpatrick family, it's about to come full circle. Harbor Town is the family paradise. He wasn't ready for that. Neither was I. As the cannon explodes. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.